the gifts I was giving my friends were socks from the plane. <laughs> Adele, Adele, they only give you one pair of socks. Immediately you gather all socks they inside plane. <laughs> so much for joining if you're just tuning in this is spotlight and we have a talented gorgeous lady um as our guest today and there's a big question on the table did she just have a baby oh my gosh yes a lot of 237 artists are having babies it's a beautiful thing and so there's this huge rumor um that has been you know all over the place and so I had to get a hold of, of our guest today to find out from her if the rumor is true, okay? And this is what she told me. She said, um, I've not really wanted to talk about this with anybody, but because it's you, Gwen, I actually think that I would um, want to share and throw more light about the story, okay? So as you all would have seen on the caption, share, 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 and, um, you know, come and comment, um, you know, send your questions to our beautiful guest, Adele Clarice, okay? She is already waiting backstage, guys. Ah, she is gorgeous as ever, and I know we're going to have a fabulous show, so without wasting much time, let me bring in our guest. Adele Clary, she is an award-winning artist uh, from Cameroon and um, wow, she has a whole history because she started this music thing when she was only five years old. Um, they always say that it starts from when it's very small and even the Bible says that teach a child how they should go and when they grow, they would never depart from it. So let's bring Adele. There's so much we have, um, you know, to ask her. We have so many questions to ask her. And I know that you all are itching to hear if she truly did have a baby. But if you want to know, um, maybe if that was really the case, then you have to stay right to the end of the program. So let's welcome Adele Paris, our guest on today's show. Hi. 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 You have to turn off the audio. Hi, everybody. Can inside. you hear me? I can hear you. Hi, sweetie. You look beautiful. Thank you. You look amazing. <laughs> like a big star. You look gorgeous. Can you hear me? Thank you, Adele. Hi. How oh, are you? How are you today? Can you hear me, sweetie? I hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Great. <laughs> I see Maybe I just came on. She says, um, let me put on that message on the screen so I don't okay. see. She says, Cuckoo, just had a baby. Mm -hmm. You just had a baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're not going to answer that question right now, Mabel. Thank you so much for joining. Mabel was, um, she is one of Adele's best friends. And uh, she. Oh, a long way to today, girl. I'm doing great. Thank you so much. You look so beautiful as always. Thank you. <laughs> no, but baby, I know the baby fever, you know, when you just have a baby, you're popping it's just like you right now because you just had a baby. So yeah, yeah my baby is girl. So Adele, let's start right now. Tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about you. Who is Adele Clarice in a nutshell? Well, Adele Clarice is a singer, songwriter, and an actress. Mm -hmm. and I've been singing ever since I was five years old. You said that earlier, so yeah, I'll not go deeper. <laughs> so yeah, I've been singing. I come from a family of five children, mm -hmm. two girls and three boys. Mm -hmm. And my family has always been a singing family. And all mm -hmm. of them, my mom and my dad were in a choir in the Catholic church and they usually take us for choir practices. So that's something that inspired me to get into music. Um, I, uh -huh. I'm a graduate from the University of Goya with the bachelor's in sociology and anthropology. And I've, I was a lead vocalist at the University of Goya Orchestra. Um, I, I was part of a group called BAM. Let me focus on the music part though. I was part of a group <laughs> called BAM 
that's my family and our first album was was produced in france so because it's hard. Uh, you know I can't see the comments on here. Yeah, on the screen, just look on the screen. You're gonna see the comments right there. Okay, so I'll be fidgeting. My head will be like this. Okay. So yeah, you can just look at the screen. You see all the comments right there. Yeah. So myself, Larry, Mabel, and Zinia represented Cameroon in Senegal. No, in Cote d'Ivoire, mm -hmm. and we won in the entire Africa. Like we won all of Africa. Like they were like. Yeah nine african countries and we were first so we did a tour around west africa and other parts of the world and our first album was was produced in france uh, uh -huh. the title of the album stand up so yeah um i used to be part of the um star the demand as well it was a pv reality musical uh -huh. show um, yeah uh -huh. you remember right <laughs> of course who doesn't remember i mean you guys were the, the group that everybody wanted to be we're like yeah. oh my god look at this young beautiful it just so we were yeah. all singing at home like wishing <laughs> that we would become bam you know like stuff like that mm -hmm. we had all this yeah so yeah, mm, we to, <laughs> yeah so yeah, bam, bam, bam um yeah. but um, um started the man was before bam so BAM did incredibly around the world because we, we had major shows everywhere. The first group of, mm -hmm. from Cameroon to ever be on Trace TV. Hey, so wow, what a beautiful and amazing journey, Adele Thank Clarice. You. And so you. Um, you decided to come over to America and you didn't let your um, your passion for music die. Because some people actually, um, mm -hmm. they would allow their passion just mm -hmm. go away, you know, because they get, they get tied up in the hustle and bustle of bush in quotes you know yeah. is like you know abroad yeah. and stuff because everything is so fast and um yeah you didn't let that um <laughs> that go away you you continued singing you actually sing with two bands right now tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about those that, bands yeah that depends on what people are chasing because we come yeah. to america we always say we're chasing dreams and stuff what's your dream like you're chasing your dream your dream is not just working and having a a, a like a, a job where mm -hmm. it's hand to mouth job and yeah you're happy it's my <laughs> best <to> ten yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining and thank you for sharing the video uh -huh. okay, so <laughs> yeah so um if my notion of chasing dreams is to stay happy and do the things you love mm -hmm. so that's why ever since i moved to the states I came from my master's degree program. I did not okay. stop doing that. But I, what I love most is music. And I just feel like it's part of me and I can never depart from it. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, I, I have a band here in the, the USA um, with K Vibes Band, with the Lions Band. Yeah. And if there's any musician coming to the US, Adele's name is always mentioned in the middle of it, of it all. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, um, Adele Clarice, I'm going to say that you're one of those artists um, out here whose rendition of the um, US anthem is impeccable. And you only took you one day to learn that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've always heard that story so many times. I'm like, wow, that mm -hmm. anthem is so hard to do. I've heard you sing so many difficult mm -hmm. songs that I would not even dare sing, okay? Because mm -hmm. I don't want to break people's ears. You know, I'll be like, ah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all over the place. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, um, so tell us about that particular um, um, US anthem. Like, you're always called up to sing that mm -hmm. anthem to the smithsonian and so many other interesting um festivals just to sing that song yeah um the first time well i love the u.s national anthem first of all i really love it so it intrigued me to learn it really fast so the first time was when my manager um got in contact with ada Mm -hmm. I was working with African um, Union and all of that stuff. So they mm -hmm. had something at the Smithsonian and they were like, oh, could Adele do the U.S. National Anthem? I didn't know it. I had just come to the country. So I was like, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I never say no. That's one thing about me. <laughs> like, You're so sweet, fun. Adele. You're so sweet that, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I learned from you, Gwen. Mm. So everything, <laughs> so everything just happened fast. So William is like, "Oh, are you sure you can do it?" I'm like, "Yes." Yeah. So I took my headphones. I was at my auntie's house at the time, so 
so I learned it like all night. So I made a mistake with my lyrics though that that day. Yeah. Oh my god. And it was so loud, I can never forget. So it was like Is it terrible? Like did people boo boo boo? No, they didn't boo. I'm not sure they really knew the anthem because <laughs> That kind of like took me the moment. It took the moment away for a little bit, but it was like stars. Oh, you know, stars spangled banner, and yeah. I was like stars sprangled banner. Like I put the R like. <laughs> I mean, nobody could know. I mean, who who knows? Like there are a lot of people who don't. We come from Cameroon for real, girl. Mm-hmm. Like there are so many people. If you ask them, sing Cameroon national anthem, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Siri and can testify to that, right? Siri yeah, and yeah, you know, people that know now will sing national anthem with the outside, like yeah, like a country where they don't learn now. We don't know how to sing. Hey, Siri. Okay. Sally Dynamic just came on board. She's watching. Yeah, she loves this kind of hair, though. On, on CRTV, sometimes we can some years back. Um, oh, really? Nice. Yeah, That's my sister. sister. Yeah, I think that, yeah. She, she loves Bongo's hair, so she's loving this hair. But sorry, girl. No, she's this arrow, these two. Oh. <laughs> William just joined. What is he? I see him? William. William, I sent you a message. You did not answer me. You're in trouble with me. Okay. I didn't have a birthday um, recently, but uh, Yvette, no be, no be, no be, no be nice thing now. Why, 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 why are you discriminating now? Why? I know you have, you do have Montes on the show though, Zinia as well. In fact, all of them, those are celebrities. Yeah, watch. I see them. I just saw Yvette come on. I saw Echi, A Young, Array. That's that's a guy who knows how to put you perfect. You come on, yeah. Like, you- Oh, you mean the pictures, right? Echi took me all those pictures, though. He is, he is amazing. So yeah. Okay, so Cyril and Ted, let me let me put up his message mm-hmm. here. He says, Auntie Sister, <laughs> are there clarity to the house? He says, do you have plans to ever do something again with your former Thank band you. now? Okay. As in doing a song again in the name of bam are you guys still planning to come together sometime to do like a 10 year after kind of you know something um, um we mm-hmm. actually talked about it last week mabel and myself because she had um she had the entire album and i was like oh my god i need those songs on an mp3 and wow. or something. but like you never listen to the uh, entire album going our songs are like Michael Jackson songs that never go out of fashion. Like we're like, girl, we what are you doing? I used to sing all your songs. Song. I was, we used to stage your songs. What are you talking about? <laughs> we we'll stage Bam. Now. Bam was the first group to come out of Anglophone Cameroon. We were happy. We were proud. We were. I mean, you guys see. I know. I'm going to cafe before. No, I'm going to cafe. You know, cafe to you girls. Cafe to you all. I know you were supposed to um launch your album this year um on the occasion of your birthday and then with yeah. everything that's happening right now the world is in chaos and i mean what are the plans well um i have my album ready because i'd already rented a hall and everything and i had uh, my band members ready as well they were mm-hmm. like we've been having rehearsals and all of that and boom this just happened because I really wanted, I've released my first single here in the U.S., of course, but I've not released an album in the U.S., so I wanted something grand, a little bit of, you know, I love a little bit of drama. And you were yep. supposed to be the MC of that show, by the way. And oh! <laughs> I, don't miss, I don't miss a whole VIP event. I know! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know, yeah. So let's see this comment from Will Hogg. Will Hogg is your manager. How did you two meet? You know, let me tell you something, Adele. There, there was rumors that you and Will had a thing going. <laughs> What's popping with you two? <laughs> spill the things. Spill the things. Spill the things. There are always rumors, even if you sit in your house. Ha- Will put up this um this it's message. Not he put up this message saying, at the Smithsonian, it was full of diplomats who know the anthem. And they applauded so forcefully. It's in the video. I wish I had that video, Will. I was, um, you know, you know. Have, yeah. If you spoke to Will and not me, you would have had all the videos you want. Know. Oh. Zinia says, ha ha ha, at Michael Jackson. 
<laughs> and then yes, yeah, Zinia, she also says that he's in a Zinia made me wear this hair, by the way. She made me wear this hair. I had my simple look and she was like, Oh no, wear the bigger one so that you look like like a diva. Dramatic. So you know this is Zinia's idea right here. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna stop a little bit. I'm just gonna show this picture first of all of you here. Um of our superstar Adele. Sandy Dynamics wants you to sing a little bit. So which song do you want to sing for us? I like one of the BAM songs. I would have maybe had all of you right now, like, you know, so that you all can maybe sing one of that song. Hey, yeah, BAM, 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 BAM. Like, Mibble's part was just like, man, I was like, whoa, this girl is, she's. She was, she was she showing was too much. Happy. She likes to show too much. That's you know, pop, pop, pop. I'm like, hey, 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 hey Papa God. I say, man, stage that song for school to I say, ah, ah. Mama be, mama be celebrity overnight though. This, 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 I mean, these guys are just sweet. They're sweet. Yeah, you guys really set the pace for, for the anglophone, um, you know, music industry. Okay, even if you know it has grown tremendously, but you, you guys were like the first group that came out of English speaking Cameroon. And and who was your producer during that time? Like, who did you work with? Who are some of the people that you know that helped you guys? You know that 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 made this career really you know, come to life? Um, well, we had um, Emil Gomba of M1 Studios. He did a lot of oh, work the boss. on that album. Yeah, the boss himself. So he did a lot of work on that yes. album. And we also, like the stand-up song, we produced it in Paris with Wayne Beckford. He's one of Akon's producers. Very mm -hmm. huge at the time. Like, it was just like, oh. <laughs> and we produced, like, do you know how we compose that song? We sat Tell in me. our hotel room in the morning and came out mm -hmm. with that song before we went to the studio and recorded. Mm -hmm. Because they wanted us to develop a song. So we did that and we came to the studio that same day to record it. Uh, there's yeah. a question on the on the screen for you from Bele Asong. <laughs> It's making oh, me laugh no. because there's a lot of laughing on it. Like, what's calling Keto black? Maps, show off. You <laughs> 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 Don't mind that. Oh my God. I'm going to kill her after this video. <laughs> and you know, that, let me say, let me say, let me say, be guilty. Let me say, be guilty. Cool, cool. Let me guilty. Yeah. Person, so. Okay. Well, for me, for me. Yeah. Okay. Sandy Dynamics. That was what did she say? She said, when how did you know I would like your lipstick? Oh, I don't know. I just guessed, girl. I was trying. You know, she what? just when knew. How about when that? Interview a, you know, a diva <laughs> like Adele Clarice. Now you know, won't come small. You know, you won't come full like crazy. Understand? So I had to take up myself. I say, oh, mommy, Pekin, let me first of all make sure that everything is okay. You know, the children have eaten, they're sleeping. You know, just those kind of things. Like those are the kind of things that add into your life mm -hmm. once you become a married woman and mommy Pekin. You know, you have to also try to keep up with all the young girls who are still popping. I'm you know, trying to keep up with you. <laughs> That's why Zinia said I should wear this hair because she knew that what you are coming with will not be easy. So no, this I is all about me now. Just you. see, it is so. If I remove this hair, actually, I can remove it on this on this hair right now. No, 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 no. <laughs> the video will go you... viral. Okay, take it off. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to go viral. I don't want to go viral. Okay, my uh, criminals are watching this video. Mabel, Zinia, and Bell. Those are my criminals. What do you have to say to them? Say something nice to your girls. Grand Frère Claude Songhey. I greet you, I greet you, I greet you, I greet you. Comment ça va? Comment tu vas? Comment va tout le monde ce soir? J'espère que vous allez bien. J'espère que le euh, la pandémie ne nous ne nous ne nous euh, ne nous déprime pas, n'est-ce pas? C'est c'est tellement difficile de vivre dans une dans une période comme ça. But we trust God. You know, we trust God that everything is going to be um, okay and everything will fall into place. Um, Cyril and this is Montes Yvette. Okay, I just want to put that, that comment on the <laughs> he says that. Uh, Montes Yvette, let's see what he says. Oh, my love and dolo amour, je t'aime. Oh la la, that's such a beautiful declaration of love right there. And uh -huh. that's deep. I mean, we're going to talk a little bit about 
relationships, you know. Other Clary, single, ready to mingle, single, not ready to mingle, taken. Um, what's up? What's popping around by here? I'm not single and I'm not mingling. <laughs> oh, that look, man. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> that was, so that was a bullet. <laughs> yeah, it, it almost looked like you're trying to bully us or trying to, you know, win us over. Like, I'm not single and I'm not ready to mingle. <laughs> <laughs> so who is the lucky guy <clears throat> you want me to tell you the guy we are waiting for news on this live video news news news, news. who is the lucky guy who is the lucky guy uh, don't we want to know who I is just the love you the we want to know who is the author of the baby or is this somebody yeah. else um I gotta think about it <laughs> okay okay <laughs> all right so you're gonna think about it but guys we need to find out from this you know from from adult today what's what's up you know like is it true that she just had a baby or or is it a real baby because i mean i don't know if it's a thing with with um 237 celebs these days like i just watched a video the other day um of this little girl called um indira baboke and so people had the story about her they said she was pregnant and then she mm -hmm. had to unveil that on her snapchat or so or her TikTok. and so she oh. had this, this this yeah she just wore something and she had something in her belly and then she took it out and she said i hope the rumor is gonna stop you know so yeah oh, what a did. cool way to, to, to start a boss Spotlight. Um, our guest today is Adele Clarice, the gorgeous, talented Adele Clarice. She recently won an award at the just ended the very last edition of the African Awards of Washington, D.C., um, which is, of course, um, organized by uh, my very good friend, Marichal Tiano and his amazing team um they're doing a fabulous job there um promoting and celebrating africa <laughs> and they say village people at work but they will not succeed we they must see not the end see of life today yes see what is my guy they will not succeed let's talk about family briefly okay no tell me story oh. then talk about no, your friends you know if you have friends and stuff like that in the business and stuff and then now the personal personal friend you know the person that's giving you massage mm -hmm. so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they can okay. so go ahead first <laughs> so um no i have an amazing family they are my life they are my everything mm -hmm um my mom is like my mom and my dad at the same time my sister in the uk with her kids and in fact my family is my life though so mm -hmm. and i have friends that are like family too my friends mm -hmm. that are like family zinia mabel bell mm -hmm. and yeah and montes mm -hmm. like, i have a lot of family you're like family to me like love to me yes like, it's something that That's I true. so much believe in, and if you prove to me like your love is real, trust me, I'll I'll put you like a fam, I'll put you like family. So yeah, basically, I have a so family how... in the music world, and I have my biological family as well. Mm hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about you know Adele's you know personal you know personal personal flavor. Like okay, yeah, you said that you have. Why are you looking in the sky, Adele? No, uh, I'm looking in the sky. I just saw you spying in the sky, like, uh, what's she saying? Like, <laughs> something there. Uh, you know why? You know why? Yes, she don't find Adele. So, um, uh -huh, I see the queen of Amanda, Naomi, actually, Wandi, watching. Hey, Naomi. I Naomi's see. She is. Powerful. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I was watching this video that she just put up on YouTube today that she was just freestyling. My gosh. Hot as hell. My gosh. Welcome. She had this. Now she's the this... best camera rapper in, in America. Oh my god, okay. I was sitting there and I'm like, gosh, Lil Kim ain't got nothing on our sister there. She is yeah. killing it. I was like, 
wow. She was like, I've always enjoyed rappers, the people who know how to rap, like for real. I enjoy them, but I know we talk real quick, so you know, my tongue will tight. Oh, good. So I tell him, you now back yeah. to business. We don't feel around this particular topic. So, um, no, <laughs> tell us about no. Okuna. You know, just give us a little something. You know, because a lot of guys have been sending me inbox questions. They make I ask you, saying, uh, what's happening uh, at your streets like that? Eh? Mm-hmm. You know, are you available? You know, can they invite you for dinner after quarantine? You know. <laughs> Oh my Personal god. Dinner after quarantine, like you know, are you available for dinner? Well, a dinner date? <laughs> oh, let me see. I'm available to go out and hang out, but and, I'm and not available for like the mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Who is the Don't our brother in law? Who is our um, you know, I have to come bit. out with him the way people are coming out with pregnancies, so. I, I don't want to spill the surprise now. I don't want to. I need that so, momentum. So is 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 our is our brother-in-law? Is he from Cameroon? Is he from where is he from? Like you know, where is he even from? I've forgotten. When does I beg be more? When I can't answer me the question, I just asking me <laughs> where her sweetheart is from. Oh, hello. Oh, see where and where are you? Eh? I need help. <laughs> I don't know finish with me for you. I don't see. <laughs> Why is it for me? <laughs> oh, how do people plan to do this thing where you get to meet his family? Adina, how you want to do this thing? Like, you don't know, no, sorry, come on. Hey, hey. Oh, I just, you know, these viral videos, like, I'll be like, oh, I just got engaged. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's the kind of video you see very soon. So, mm-hmm. don't worry. So tell me about this song. You don't deny to talk about our Oga, so that's fine. But I know that you're taken, which is good. Guys, stop sending me inbox. Adele is taken. She is not available for any dinner. Okay? Uh, her, her sweetheart is not going to be happy. <laughs> if she goes out for dinner, there's going to be problems at home. Okay? <laughs> but um, you guys just be sure, just be rest assured that he's a guy who deserves to, you know, be with somebody like Adele. And exactly. Exactly. That's all we need. We need people who are supportive, who understand the kind of work that we do, who can stand by us, who can push us forward the best way possible. Okay. Um, Siri and Tess has put up our, I need to see that Siri and Tess comment here. It says that, <laughs> oh, Siri and Tess. You said the guy now. You said the guy now, Yeah. The guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you. not saying. This guy, the one that Kwakwa. Yeah. I want to add my lead to pop like yours. You are over pop. Oh. oh, I thought that nude leads, nude leads. Actually, I love nude leads. Um, sometimes it's just like very mysterious when your lips are nude. But for some reason, eh, I just like to pop. You know that kind of thing. But you know, so you can be superstar. When one can you talk superstar like Adele, you want to pop in an extraordinary way. So Adele, let's talk about music now. Let's talk about music. Um. You were going to launch your album um, in yeah. May, am I correct? Mm-hmm. You're very correct. Okay, so with the coronavirus now, um, what are you planning to do? Like, are you just going to let it, you know, just go? Or are you still planning to do something? Do you plan to do something virtual like some people are doing right now? It's like the thing right now. Yeah, I wanted to do a virtual concert on my birthday, but my problem with virtual concerts is that I really want the sound to be good because I'm so much, um, I'm particular with the sound. I want the sound to be good. So we had already arranged. I have a couple of people just waiting for me to say, oh, let's go. Let's do a virtual concert. So, but um, I'm, I'm trying to get the sound right first. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just saw this comment by Zinia. My God, I, I just have to read this comment. Adele, Adele, he says one guy will just sit in his house and be happy thinking that they're talking about him. <laughs> Adele, the fact that you have not called, you have not even mentioned our sweetheart like that, even a little bit, the guy will just be like, Who, who is it? <laughs> now? You know, it's, just, it's okay to make all of them happy. <laughs> okay, I see saying good fun is watching all the way from Cameroon. Mama, you crazy. Are watching. Zinia oh. is crazy. Huh? Zinia said that he's from Israel. Oh. Oh, yeah. She can give you all the answers, Gwen. 
So he he's knows. on intro, girl. He knows it all. Yeah. So, so you don't know where you are. You don't know where your boyfriend is from, Adele. Nazina. She knows it all. Like <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I think I think CY and T has the best answer here. He says that uh, mm-hmm. I know the guy is a quack a guy from Tole. He lives in Abu Dhabi, Australia, in Brussels. <laughs> CY yeah, just CY. fine. <laughs> oh, see why? Oh, God. See why he's just crazy? Like, his <laughs> jokes are out of space. He's just unique he's in his he's own self. Like, he's so super talented. <laughs> um, Pierre Dikan says, Go see, Skoro cannot stop our shine at all. He's not this guy we are talking about, Seth. She's like, Dun, dun, dun. Ada Clarice says, Party remise, okay? Ada Clarice, elle nous promet que. Elle va nous, elle va nous, nous dire, hein? Hein? elle va nous, nous, nous dévoiler un peu plus sur, sur cet homme mystérieux de sa vie, hein? euh, mais pas aujourd'hui, n'est-ce pas? Mais il y a une chose que nous savons, Adèle Taris, c'est un Israélien. Mm-hmm. N'est-ce pas, Adèle? Oui, yeah, oui, yeah, oui. Yeah. Well... You know, I'm very in particular. I'm just very much concerned with the heart of a person. Oh, yeah. So the uh, the physical, I don't really, I don't even know how the physical looks. Because don't worry about that. that. I mean, most importantly, love yeah. you. He treats you. He treats you like a queen, like mm-hmm. the diva that you are, and that's the most important thing that matters to us. Okay, Adele, can you give us a show? I'm gonna go off the screen right now, and yeah. people are asking. Um, they want you to sing. They want to hear that that voice of yours. So choose any of your songs and just give us a beautiful show right now. Everything's messed up, that's for sure. People suffering, dying, I don't know. I look around, everything seems so slow. They push with struggle, no result. The same hustle never resolved. This hustle is for nothing. Take it slow, we will find a way to get out of this. All we should do is believe, let go. Don't be afraid, it will be all right. Don't give up. Everything, everything's gonna be just fine. This life has got so many complications. Can't face the situation. I've got to walk to the platform of victory. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's that story. Can't face the situation. We're going to walk through the platform of victory. It's a oh. This life has got so many complications. Oh, Okay, now we love that song. That was a song that revealed you to the public um, under the banner of BAM. This yeah. wonderful group of four young Cameroonians, super talented boarding. My dear, huh, you guys went to all kinds of countries, Niger, Nigeria, Paris. That was where you actually recorded. Mama me, we were still dreaming you know, of playing. <laughs> That's how I was sitting in my house. I was say, "Hey, one day, oh. I know, but and I was I at the new- one day, one day, oh. <laughs> I was at the Me university too. at the time. So when I yeah. came back, oh my god, I was like the queen, the queen. Everybody of England. was kissing you and taking pictures with you. I know the Clarice. gifts I was giving my friends were socks from the plane. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Adele, Adele, they only give you one pair of socks. Immediately you gather all socks they start playing. <laughs> and they're like, oh my god, thanks, Adele. Oh my god. From the plane. Like, You're welcome. Oh, it's not even been a chocolate. Like it it's Tokyo because... Airways. Oh. oh, that was phenomenal. That was like See, the best thing. I remember the first. I remember the first time I entered the plane. Hey, you know they say I no go ever. They say I no go ever, ever, ever. In fact, I no shit again. You know. I was like, hey, <laughs> now playing this. 
Oh hey, God. you know, you never see how oh the first time you're taking a plane, you take all kinds of pictures, eh? That's what yeah. And then that time, my phone, they come and I ever you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Oh I say, God. you take pictures, pictures, you just come and like, yeah, blurry and everything, you know. Like, but you're in the plane, mm-hmm. man, and then you're struggling to send on Facebook so that everybody can see that hand. And then yep. Clarice has arrived, you know, like <laughs> Gwendolyn has arrived, like, hey. You know, the worst one was when we, we had to go to to Algeria under the Ministry of Culture. Mm-hmm. They gave us some money. We were so happy. Maybe I myself, like, just... You know like, much? I can't remember. There was more. Right. Like, we went to much. facials, like, hey. first time ever. I don't know what that woman did on my face. The kind of acne I had from that oh, time. Oh no! Where? <laughs> Asha. The fact is that uh, your body was not. Your body is not used to all those kind it's of things. Then they just go surprise your skin, scrub your skin when you don't need to scrub. You know, it's not everybody's skin that can take all those kinds of. They go and activate stuff, and then suddenly yeah. you see things start growing. And from it was nowhere. Mabel's idea, though. It's Mabel. Like, oh, sh- maybe in trouble. Maybe in trouble. Maybe Adele is, like, Adel is finishing with you here. Oh, maybe where are you? So they say, Oh, now I'm going to fish as superstar. Then instead of you being happy that, yeah, 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 in the superstar league, now you guys are going to do facials. You are there blaming maybe. Eh? I'll be, you don't be glad for go. <laughs> <laughs> or is it, is, is it when things got sour that you're like, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe because this angry of my face. Hmm. So I don't know about what a Lamborghini is when she was she had never entered the university. Her dream car was a Lamborghini. I'm like, yeah. I was like, what's a Lamborghini? Because I didn't even know. So what I'm kind like, of name is that by the way? Lamborghini, like I she mean, dreams big. I wish kind of name like, yeah, you know what in life it's important to dream big. It's it's very important to dream big. I have my vision board right here. If you see the things that are on my vision board there, you'll not even believe. If I spin it out here, you'll be like, What? But the oh, truth is wow. that you can only get to the extent of your dreams or beyond. Yeah. If you don't dream big, then seriously, I've done the call myself sister twice since I don't need to talk the no, rap on my nose. Like they even call me as they twice for school. Like seriously, okay. like I will dress clean. I need like there's so many things that you you actually use your mouth to set it up for your life, you know, without knowing. Okay, uh-huh. things that you like, things that you want to see, you speak them forth into your life without knowing. True. And that's why it's important to watch the words that come out of your mouth. Okay, you don't want to say negative things because one day when that thing will happen to you, you sit and say, Hey, yeah, at least I can say this thing someday. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. So, what drives Adele? Why are you always so happy and so sweet? Like, what <sighs> is what drives you, Adele? Like, is it is it something from your home bringing or is it just your personality naturally? You know, a couple of people have asked me this and there's a girl who actually reached out to one of my friends. She's like, mm-hmm. she wants to be my friend because she wants to be around somebody who has pos- who's always positive about life and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let me see. It, I'm the kind of person, I don't like stress at all like mm-hmm. in my life. If something has to stress me, I just set it aside. Mm-hmm. So... I try as much as I can. I'm not like happy, happy all the time. I have my sad moments. Of course, yeah. But I brave them. Like the way I brave them, I'm like, life is too short. I don't have time for this. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm sad, you know, music can take you away from different kinds of emotions. So when I'm sad, like I have songs I listen to and boom, my mood just switches. I have mood swings a lot. So Hmm. when I like... I get motivated i'm like oh let me write a song and you know yeah but there are moments when i've been really sad especially when i, I dated my first he <laughs> broke your heart the boyfriend but... did he break your when heart did... did he make you better by breaking your heart no he was he was a cheat so oh shit <laughs> so that was my first so it really hurt me but right now i don't think something can hurt me like how old, were you? That I felt. How old were you when you had your first Adele? Go one year older if you don't start by fashion. Early. When? <laughs> my first, <laughs> uh, it's not even long since I had my first. I was 23 years old. Hey! Yeah. Good girl, give me a high five. Hey, I don't mean, I, I'm, I know. Thank don't you. Don't know. <laughs> you, and he you came and me. 23 years and gave yourself to him and then you broke your heart. Oh! 
you know what he said he's like Mm-mm. oh you never know what you have until you've lost it i wish we could come back together in my head i'm like you're right you're right ah <laughs> uh, you know what some people they come into your life to teach you a lesson and then the most important yeah. thing is that if it was a hard bitter pill to chew you want to mm-hmm. stand up stronger than ever yeah. and prove to yourself you're not proving it to anybody proving it to yourself that you're bigger and better than that okay yeah. Okay. And then wait to go happen and I say when those people will be seeing you now at the end of the day they'll be just wishing and then they'll be telling everybody that I dated her you know like that kind of claim relationship that Ukwa used to yeah. talk about you know yeah um how easy or difficult has it been for you as an artist like what are some of the challenges that you faced like you know um the main challenge just is that some people will come to you and they want to help you and they want something in return you know what do you what do you mean by something return let me tell you what this person said in fact there are mm-hmm. many of them like mm-hmm. okay he's, he's a cameroonian <laughs> superstar in the days right like in the days yeah he's like michael jackson of cameroon but, but he's still michael alive jackson. But i'm he's trying to figure out guys let's, let's throw our let's throw our gambit coins right now that will find out who be cameroonian <laughs> um, michael jackson in the days let's bring oh, out his God. name Okay, not just him, they're like there are like four of them so what did he do I- imagine him telling me that oh i want to help you in your music career but i want you to belong to me i don't want you to have kids like i, I want to tour the world with you he, he w- doesn't want me to have kids so can you imagine i beg that he's nah, gonna nah, take nah. care of everything mm. if i have to have kids it should be with him I should not get married. Oh, he said that. that is he married? married? Is yeah. he married? So I'm like, yeah. He's married. So I've had people like that. Like, they want to help you, but they want something in return. And if I was the kind of girl that would give you something in return, I will not, I will not be where I am today. How easy or, or difficult has it been for you in, in, the, in show business? Would you say it, it's it's a woo? It's just a woo, woo, woo? Or is it is it like... <sighs> It's a uh, okay. <laughs> so in between, yeah, it's in between. It's in between. Um, so yeah, but you you still you're still hanging in there. You're not you've not given up. No, why? Given up and why? Because I love it. So there are, there are ups and downs in it. Um, because you you need promotions and everything. You need to to break boundaries and all of that. You know. And um, we were first signed to a record label that did not take the art seriously. And that's mm-hmm. why we, there were loopholes. It wasn't a smooth path for us. Are you talking about BAM or are you talking yeah. about you personally? Okay. I'm talking about BAM in general. So we had to find mm-hmm. our way out and try to see how we can make it individually, even though we have the hopes of coming back together and doing something. But we had to pursue it. Because a reunion. Yeah, we'll do it. Really, oh, that would be cool. Really, really, that would really. be amazing. I don't clarify, you have an organization in Cameroon. Um, is it called Helping Hands or something like that? Um, whereby you yeah. try to help out, give out food. Um, tell us about that and, and what you do with that organization. A Helping Hand was a project that I took upon myself. Oh my God, A Helping Hand was an amazing project because... I did a Christmas. I actually had a conference meeting with the United Nations mm-hmm. um, Children Children and Emergency Fund Fund. Yeah. As UNICEF. Mm-hmm. So we had a discussion and all of that, and I told them what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Well, I used to act like a grandma when I was little. Like I, I used to be smarter mm-hmm. than I am now. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I woke up one morning and decided to do flyers by myself went from one school to the other um, nursery schools around mm-hmm. so gave them flyers i invited all the kids you know i went to one school and because they saw my idea christmas show and my stuff my father christmas they had to steal my idea yeah but i what's I, the name of that school do, they had to do it on the same day that i did mine some people wow. are evil. yeah so well, you know what Adele, that's, that's the thing about life you know people mm-hmm. are always ready to grab what they did not work for okay yeah. i have had instances like that like the thing is when you tell somebody 
something that you're working on you're actually giving them an idea on how to plan for theirs okay there's so many people like that who are not talented at all the only thing they do is sit and wait for somebody to come up with something they have the means to do it to take it to completion and yeah. then oh well, when it comes out you just you know kind of talk about it they'll be the first people to go ahead and do it mm -hmm. and then at the end of the day they want to take credit for that right okay there are um, a lot of sneaky people out there mm -hmm. um tell me about some of those collaborations that you've had i've had collaborations with um nigerian artists here in the diaspora um, mm -hmm. dr frabs um and Bright Benson, I think those uh -huh. are the two I've had. I've had no uh, um, X One as well. Uh -huh. So and other people on the ground. So uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah, so it's been it's been it, it's been great working with these people, especially Dr. Fraps. He's a producer. He produced for Whiskey and all those major Nigerian um, artists as well. Uh -huh. And yeah, and I I want to work with him over and over again because he's so talented. And, and professional have, yeah bright benson too is inc incredibly talented did you just have a baby like yes okay. i just had a baby oh my gosh a real baby like a real baby with the father mm, the father is what's the answer to that question i declare this is something else so tell us about this new baby of yours like um okay. let's let's unveil that package right now before we wrap up the program for today my new baby is my new song everybody <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> adele you got us all for that one. Mama, you're the best, oh. Mama, you're the best you're the best no stress i do hear your love and affection yes sir. yes sir. the love for you give me spiritual and yeah we don't bless it Mama pray for me, blessing me Hold me by my hand and then she walk with me Mama pray for me, blessing me Hold me by my hand and meditate Oh my god, so, yeah. oh my god My new baby is my new so, oh. soul Oh my I, god, I cannot believe it So <laughs> the new baby that we've been hearing about all this while Is the, the new song What's the title of the song? The title of the song is Mama. Mama. And, oh my gosh. Yeah. That's a beautiful Yeah. That's a beautiful um, you know, title. Like how did how did that 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 title come about? It's it's a song that is dear to my heart because I wanted to do something for my mom. She suffered too much in her life. So uh -huh. when she lost her husband, she's been through uh -huh. so much. So I was like, Oh, what can I do for mom this Mother's Day? Like and it's one of the songs that was supposed to be on my album so mm -hmm. i'm just like oh mother's day is coming up let me release this song and dedicate it to mom mm -hmm. so that's that's exactly what i did and not just to mom it was a song to for all the mothers who are here and gone mm -hmm. yeah so basically our mothers are the most important things in the world they're always in our hearts even when they are gone gwen like like for real though they are yeah. i know i've not seen my mom in, in more than seven years but i know she's always there close in my heart like i know she's there yeah you know, yeah i mean my mom right now she's in my memories she's in my heart yeah you know, because that was that was one of the most difficult things for me i know you 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 you'd asked me to do a video i know um, with my mom but every time i tried I, I wouldn't just want to talk about my mom in the past yeah. i think that that's such a beautiful song we can never you know show too much love to our mothers they are priceless human beings and there's so many yeah, everything. in my life and i believe that there are also so many mothers who have who have contributed in their own way in making you who you know and thank you so much for your love and support um when i lost my mom it, mean, it meant the world to me um just seeing some messages and and, and love I that I more. from friends and family mm -hmm. was priceless so okay i want you to give a shout out to some special mothers in your life adele who might be watching or who watch the program later yes hi there are so many now if i don't call somebody's name now I'm five. In trouble. five and tell them that the journalist said five <laughs> and okay. the rest of them just give them kisses Blow them. <laughs> mom asked some grace tifu that's my mom okay 
I have Mom Solange. I have Mom Sylvia. I have Mom Flo. Mm -hmm. I have Mom Alice, Mom Tefe, Mom. Have I called five? <laughs> Mm, I'm not sure which ones that you called and which ones that you did not call. Yes. So imagine that your biological mother is watching right now. What would you tell her? Oh, she already knows. So I love her so much, and everything that I'm doing is because she gives me hope and she prays for me like nobody else. And she's, she's, she has my back more than anything in the world. Okay. I work wow. so hard because she's there. No, oh, that is so beautiful. And seriously, I want to congratulate you on, you know, growing continuously in your career. Um, you have hit singles back to back to back. Oh, fake and sad. Oh, fake and sad. Oh, fake and sad. You know what Marichal Chiano said? No, tell me. When I released that song, he said, hmm, I wonder what you're going to sing next because this song is so good. It's so good. And you know what, Adele, we're almost wrapping up, but you've not even sang for us. Like you sang the song by Bam, which I really commend you for that because you you gave you paid homage to where you started. Um, but I actually want you to choose one of your songs and give us a nice a cappella, you know, so that um, you know, our minds can just be soothed during this period. Okay. Um, let me do mama. Okay. We have the floor. Um, <laughs> you know, Mama, I've recorded a song like, okay, let me do it. I've recorded Mama's song like five different times, five different versions. So it's, the lyrics is confusing, but let me try something. Mama, you the best, you the best, no stress. Uh, I didn't hear your love and affection, yes, sir. Uh, the love where you give me spiritual, and Yahweh don't bless it, the ritual. Mama, you're the best, oh, never any stress, oh. Shower all your love on me, Mama, oh, oh, oh. Mama, you're the best, oh, oh, oh. Mama, you're the best, oh. Mama, you're the best, oh, never any stress, oh. Shower all your love on me. Mama, oh, 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 Mama, you're the best, oh, oh. Cause you're plenty, plenty of everyone. Cause you're little, little of everyone. Pour toujours, tu es dans mon cœur. Oh. Mama, I love you. I love you, Gwen. Oh, your daughter's you voice. So to to you. <laughs> your your voice is your voice is just tremendous, girl. Like I've heard a lot of artists who will not sing like you. Like you can go high and go low. Like you're just perfect. Okay. Oh, thanks, Gwen. So hey guys, check Adele Clarice out on Facebook, on Instagram, you. YouTube, Cameroonians, please. I I checked Adele's um YouTube page. She only had seven hundred and something followers what are you guys doing you need to celebrate this artist like you need to celebrate each other please <laughs> go and follow adele clarice on youtube follow her on facebook follow her on instagram promote her songs push her forward okay latest baby so it was not a real actual baby like a crime baby but it was a new song titled it mama song. yeah it was a beautiful <laughs> beautiful dedication to mom to her mom and all the mothers around the world who are here and those who are in heaven we hope that you enjoyed um you know listening to adele clarice and finding a little bit more about her guys stop sending me um dms she's taken she's taken she has a gorgeous guy in her life and he is well to do okay so she but he has well... to put a ring on it so uh, oh he has to put a ring on it definitely because if he doesn't make up your mind brother because right now adele is already out there and if you don't make up your mind soon um we might be deciding you know to 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 you know you know mm -hmm. we love yeah. you okay so just do the right thing um let's let's let quarantine just be finished so we can celebrate everything all together the album launch and day you know the ring the and birthday. that would be amazing and the birthday and everything thank you all zinia um maybell um um bell Bemore, william um, bell um Cyril and Tear, Will Hard, um, all of you all who joined. 
Um, I see Rita Dikum <laughs> watching. I see Billy Bob Ndiveli Fongo watching. I see Dr. Ekwe Lois watching of Lois International um, Awards. I see Pierre Ndikang watching. All of you guys, I cannot call all the names. Oh, Pierre is for. my sister. Um, yes, <laughs> Betty, Nana, Sligo, G Kitchen. All of you guys, love and peace and see you next Tuesday when we're going to have another person on the spotlight. So who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? Oh, 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 mama, you're the best. Oh, oh, mama, you're the best, you're the best, no stress. I did hear your love and affection, yes, sir. yes. Sir. The love where you give me spiritual. And Yahweh don't bless you, the ritual. Mama, pray for me. Blessing me. Bless me. Hold me by my hand and then she walk with me. Mama, pray for me. Bless me. Bless me. Hold me by my hand and meditate.